If you are preparing for cybersecurity analyst position, this video is for you. Today we are going to walk through some of the most common and challenging questions you might face during your cyber interview. Plus, I'll give you some tips on how to answer them to impress people in the company and land that job. But before diving into technical questions, many interviews will start with soft skills. I personally ask them when I'm hiring cybersecurity analysts to our SOC team. To me, it's as important as technical skills. And although you might spend more time answering technical details, it's crucial to present yourself as curious, problem-solving person with learning mindset. So let's go through some of them together. First one could be, why are you interested in cybersecurity? This can be a very popular one especially if you don't have prior cybersecurity background. Your answer should highlight curiosity and passion for solving complex problems. Talk about your interest in technology and in cybersecurity really. When I was asked this question, I said that I watched YouTube channels about networking. At the time, it was my current position and David Bombel was talking about cybersecurity and hacking. It's part of my interest due to many people talking about the importance of cybersecurity and the impact it will have on modern world and the industry in general. I've started spending more and more time researching about the stuff and brought up some concerns about the outdated software in our company on our Cisco devices. The answer I gave showed my interest in technology and in cybersecurity beyond my daily work and help to show my interest in learning new things. So I challenge you to think about the answers yourself. I mean, you are already watching this video. You could mention that, right? All right, let's move on to the next question. Tell me about the time you solved a difficult problem. If you are already employed on some help desk position or a security engineer, you will have easier time answering this. My advice would be look for such situations in your daily work. I know nobody wants to deal with difficult problems that are out of your comfort zone. I had huge problems with that as well. So if you have nothing to talk about, try to work on that. It will get better. If there is a huge issue nobody wants to deal with, give it a go and you will have absolutely amazing answers prepared. If I go back to my networking positions, I would talk about the time we had to replace a router. I would say that a ticket was assigned to me and I already saw it, it was a long one with a huge history. I went through the details carefully and noticed that multiple replacements failed on this side. It was a very remote location and each time the same technician was dispatched. I saw a huge latency in the logs as well and I suspected that this was an issue. I've called the engineer after he got another replacement router and agreed with him that he will stop on different location before that. He have configured the router without any problems and later he drove it to the site. As he arrived, the router was already configured and we didn't have to deal with the unstable network connection. The dispatch was successful, but at the time nobody wanted this case because there were many problems before and most people at the job wanted to have a nice and peaceful shift. Okay, there are other questions that might be asked, such as how would you prioritize tasks when you have multiple security incidents or if there was an instance where you improved a process. I don't want to spend too much time on soft skills, but let me know in the comments if you are interested about more interview questions when it comes to this. Ok, let's move on to technical question. And I'm not going to lie to you, there are tons of them. Since cybersecurity analyst role is not entry level job. Yes, let me repeat that, it's not entry level job. Although it might be entry level in the field of cybersecurity. That means you need to have good overall knowledge from different domains. Systems, networking, cloud, programming, and so on. So 
For example, if they ask you if you have any programming skills, then your response is, yes, I'm very proficient with Python and PowerShell, and I have created this and that, be prepared for follow-up questions. And this applies to anything you might claim to be knowledgeable in, especially if you have some certifications. Be prepared for this. Don't take it as, well, I have this certification from CompTIA or Cisco, therefore I'm safe from networking questions. Because they will most likely come and if you fail to answer them, especially if there are some basic concepts, such as what is the difference between public and private IP address, it will be hard to recover from. Personally, this tells me you just passed the certification, but you lack the knowledge. Maybe you just learned the dumps for the exam and cheated. So make sure to be prepared for technical questions, not only from the cybersecurity, but from other domains as well. But let's go back to cybersecurity interview questions. I have prepared few of them for this video specifically, which I was asked on interview or even I use when we looked for cybersecurity analysts. First set of question is all around concepts. What is virus or what is ransomware? But more complex could be, can you explain the difference between virus and deworm? Answer in such scenario could be, both of them are recognized as malicious software or malware, but they operate differently. A virus typically requires a host file or program to spread, and it usually activates when the infected file is executed. In contrast, a worm is self-replicating and can spread across networks without needing a host file or human intervention to propagate. If you answer correctly, be prepared for follow-up question as well. In this case, you could be asked, did you encounter any malware or do you know any malware family? If you are not sure how to answer such question, I would advise you to spend some time on URL House or Malpedia, where you can dive deeper into malwares. At the moment, personally, I see a spike in Luma Stealers, and this page is amazing because you can gain so much more information and learn so much more about specific threat. Alright, another follow-up question could be, what are some other popular attack vectors besides malware? You could say some common attack vectors include phishing, exploiting vulnerabilities, zero days, insider threats, brute force, and so on. Make sure to explain each vector very shortly and what defenses can be put in place. So for example, with the phishing attack, you could mention email filtering, employee training, and multi-factor authentication. Another popular set of questions is around cryptography. What is hashing? What is salting? Can you explain the difference between hashing and encryption? The answer in such case could be hashing is one-way process that converts data into a fixed length, string of characters typically used to verify data integrity, like password storage. Encryption, on the other hand, is a two-way process used to encode data for confidentiality, which can be decrypted by the intended recipient using a key. There are more, of course, so make sure to get familiar with them. Alright, the most crucial set of questions, at least to me, as I'm looking for great candidate, is around decision-making and critical thinking. Those kind of questions will not only test your knowledge, but also test how you apply them in day-to-day -day life, in different scenarios, really. They are tricky because answers are not straightforward, and it depends on what information is available to you. I will leave some scenarios in this document, which will be available to you in the video description. It's a Notion template, and you can make a copy if you need to. Okay, the last set of questions could be to test you how well are you keeping up with the latest trends and updates in cybersecurity. This is crucial, especially because threats are evolving rapidly and the industry is constantly changing. So an interviewer might straight up ask you, 
how do you stay updated on the latest cybersecurity trends? For this, your answer should demonstrate that you are proactively and constantly learning. You could say something like, I stay up to date by following cybersecurity blogs, reading industry reports or watching YouTube videos, right? And I'm also active on platforms like LinkedIn and Twitter, mention whatever you use and you discuss new threads and share insights on the social media. Personally, I use Reddit, but include whatever is most used for you. I would also advise you to start listening to some cybersecurity podcasts. Personally, I use Cyberdwire daily, and this helped me to stay updated to latest threads. More questions could be directed towards latest vulnerabilities or if you heard about any recent data breaches. I like to ask towards the end of the interview about AI. Do you use AI in your work? If so, how? For those kinds of questions, if you stay up to date with the latest stuff, you shouldn't have any problem answering them. So make sure to visit Bleeping Computer website from time to time and make sure to subscribe to my channel for valuable cyber information. Otherwise, that's it. Make sure to check out the document for more interview questions and actually let me know in the comments if you are interested in part 2. Just final recommendation after the technical interview is over, there will be an opening for you to ask the questions. This is very important part where you can double down on your passion. So make sure to prepare something in advance. It will also help you to decide if this role is right for you. For example, you can ask, what is your approach to ongoing trainings and certifications? What are some of the tools and technologies your security team currently uses? Are there any options for growth opportunities within the company? Ask about the structure of the team, about ships, about work-life balance. Maybe work from home is important for you and so on. These questions will not only demonstrate your passion and engagement, but also give you valuable insights into the company. At the end of the day, the interview is not just about the company choosing you, it's also about you choosing the company. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your cybersecurity analyst interview. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you would like me to cover any other topics in the future. See you next time.